And we're back with novelist Brian Young, uh, introduced to me by my musician friend Mark Dago, who was on the show performing uh, last week or the week before. But anyways, uh, you think I'd know these things. Uh, I'm a newbie, but Brian, welcome to the program. So yeah, yeah. And he gave us uh, these novels, which came out at the same time this June. Uh, we've got uh, Man Against the Future, which I have, and Terry Burden's got a hold of Lost at the Con. And uh, I'm, I'm really digging uh, this book right here, Man Against the Future, and uh, just just fun, quirky. I, I have a confession to make. I've only made the, the first two chapters, but a really easy read. And you are like cranking out novels like nobody's I business. I am on top of you know my real job, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I've got another book coming out next month, uh, and then which is a collection of essays and short stories, and then. The month after that, I've got another novel, and then I've got another novel early next year, and then three more short story collections. So I've I've been writing a lot uh, over the last five or ten years or so, but uh, this is really I just started publishing really full force in June. Cool. Well, this one, uh, Man Against the Future, uh, is uh, set in uh, is it 2084. Well, it's, it is set in the future. It's science fiction. There's a whole bunch of stories in there. So there's. Yeah. The, the first story is set in the far future. Mm -hmm. The second story is like a zombie thing. Um, there's one of my favorite stories in there is about a world where you can have an abortion for your kid until they're 18. Okay. I, you know, if you don't <laughs> yes. like the way they're turning out, you can just get them taken care of. Until they're 18? Yeah. That's how it will work in the future? No, but <laughs> it's interesting to think about. Yeah. Yeah, very interesting. Where do you, where do you get your ideas from? <laughs> um, I, all over the place. I think uh, very much uh, just inspired by the stuff I read and the stuff I, I, a lot of it's just sitting around thinking and going, wow, it wouldn't be interesting if this happened or that happened or what's the logical extension of things going on now. Mm -hmm. um, there's it, some of it has a political bent in the short stories, definitely, and it's just watching, you know, the same kind of stuff that that brought, not to put myself in the same league, but say Orwell with 1984 or things like that, where it's just, it's a logical extension of the things uh, snowballing. And I'm a 1984 fan, so yeah, everything from the re year of the mix playing the soundtrack again, music reference, uh, yeah. to yeah, uh, everything, uh, the the movie, the book, uh, total 1984 geek. So I, I totally hear you, and uh, I know this has nothing to do what we're talking about, but uh, we both have an affinity for Doctor Who. We please, do. Yes, uh, please show us your T-shirt. It's Could a. It's like a Star Wars Doctor Who mashup. Yeah, it's R two R two D two the Dalek and uh, C three PO as a Cyberman. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay, so back to your books. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you've got your uh, how many short stories There's are in this? There's seventeen one? short stories in that book. Okay. Um, and then the other book is Lost at the Con. Okay, that's how bad I'm at. I'm, I'm still the first story, <laughs> so uh, I don't. It's a hard thing to ask people the, to read a book these days. Well, that's I, <laughs> especially myself. But uh, getting this gig, I I'm going to do some heavy homework. Uh, yeah. yeah, lots of reading. Uh, what is Lost at the Con about? You know, um, the Huffington Post reviewed it, and I think they had the best summation of it, and mm. they called it Fear and Loathing at a Comic Convention. And that is fantastic, and, and a really good compliment. So, uh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's, their, their review is awesome. very positive, mm -hmm. and it's about a drunken political journalist who is sort of at the end of his rope and hates his life and gets sent to cover a geek convention and just has absolute culture shock trying to fit in, not only fit in, but also report mm -hmm. on the goings on there. And it's he's in for a big surprise. There's a lot of really fascinating, hilarious, and disturbing things that go on in the world of conventions. Well, I can't wait to get to it. That's awesome. And as you said, that, that you've got um, some other irons in the fire right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and when are those due to come out? Um, uh, next month, I've got a book called uh, God Bless You, Mr. Vonnegut coming out. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm a regular uh, contributor to the Huffington Post. And for some of the stuff I've contributed there, it's been sort of uh, satirical news sorts of things. That are, that are funny and maybe a little bit sci-fi or looking in the future or essays and things like that that I found sort of direct, direct inspiration from Kurt Vonnegut for and uh, uh, it's going to be put together in a collection with those and that will be available next month. And then before the end of the year I've got another book coming out that's uh, 
set in Utah, actually, in Utah County, about a couple of restless, agnostic, liberal-leaning youths trying to navigate their way through the area and leaving and going on a road trip to Vegas. Um, and then I've got another book, a science fiction book, coming out early next year in the spring called Operation Montauk. That's fantastic. Uh, when, when did you get published? Uh, my first, the, the, well, the first, the mm -hmm. first book I... Uh, That's what I meant. Like, like the first time I ever, ever published yeah. was in hi, uh, high school. I was a junior in high school, and I published a short story about a group of mutant animals trying to kill Hitler. Awesome. It was terrible, <laughs> but it was my first taste of publication, and it, it, it got published in a really small literary magazine back east. And uh, Well, congratulations in high school. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Did you grow uh, up in Salt Lake? Uh, I grew up in Utah County, okay. which is not aw awesome. I don't know. It's, uh, it was an interesting experience, but I got up to Salt Lake as, as quickly as I could. I know Utah County's all right. So, okay. yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. It could be much, much worse, really. It no, has no. been. It has been in years no. past. I'm digging the Utah County, and the, the cool thing about that is so much musical talent comes out of there. Really, is. neon trees came out of there. The used came out of there. So you know, I'm not, I'm not a I big Utah County up, basher. Really. When I was growing up, we had some of the best shows coming through there. Like mm -hmm. on my 18th birthday, I got to see My Man Friday and Hepcat, like together, and it was like the coolest thing in Provo. That is sweet. So. so see. There, there shouldn't be much yeah. Provo bashing. But I, it's the, not, it's just, it's just, they're a little, if they do things a little differently. I know they there. do, I know they do. But maybe they shouldn't get the bad rap that yeah. they, they really do. So uh, where can people buy your, your books? Um, well, they can get uh, they can get them on Amazon, on Barnes & Noble. They can mm -hmm. order them through any, any major bookstore like that. Uh, if you order them through my website, Mm -hmm. um, or you can go to lostatthecon.com or managainstthefuture.com. Okay. And... Uh, you can order a signed copy. Excellent. So directly from me. So Very nice. And it's, they're available for all kind of, every sort of e-reader out there. So if you don't want to spring for the paper book, you can get it digitally. OK. And uh, what is your website? Or, where, um, I, uh, or what can, uh, yeah, where do you want people you to check out your stuff? You can find it all at brianyoungfiction.com. OK. Because so. people, you know, they have their website, Facebook. Yeah. yeah. I'm uh, on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. <laughs> I'm on, I'm everywhere. Yeah. Oh, cool. So. All right. That's uh, Brian Young. And anything else you want to talk about? Shout out? Uh, Say hi to your mom. I, I, you guys, <laughs> if you guys like geek stuff like Lost at the Con, you'll probably like, I'm the editor in chief of uh, a website called Big Shiny Robot. And I have a weekly column in City Weekly I've about that. I've heard of Big Shiny Robot. Yes. Yeah. I'm, very, I'm familiar with it a little so, bit. And, and like I said, we've got a, a weekly column in Salt Lake City Weekly. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just talk about geek stuff all the time. Cool. I'll check that out more often. I will read more often. Splendid. And, uh, That's thanks, always good news. Yes, thank you for inspiring me as well. Uh, this is Brian Young. More to come. Terry's Got Weather and more from Fab on Mountain Views. Stay tuned.